here I have OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite. And today I'm going to show you how to lock apps with fingerprint on this device. So first let's open settings. Oh, I think you can't see anything because the, the screen is so bright. So let's switch to the dark mode first. Now go to settings, then go to the passwords and security. Then what you have to do is to add a fingerprint. First you will have to set up a lock screen password. So you can set a numeric pattern or alphanumeric password. I'm just gonna set the simplest of password, four digits pin. So you enter your pin, then you confirm it. In the next step, you have to find the fingerprint sensor, which is located here on the power button. And you just tap it with your finger several times until it remembers your fingerprint. And that's it. And now when the fingerprint ate it, in the fingerprint sec section you have to enable app lock. Then you will have to set up privacy password. Uh, set unified password. So here you can set up like the same password as you have on your lock screen, but you can also like set up another password. I'm just gonna set the same one. And uh, one uh, more thing, you will have to enter uh, answer the security question so like you can answer one of these uh, default questions or you can set up your own custom question I'm just gonna answer this one quickly and we'll go on so when you have app lock enabled uh, to lock apps you go to the privacy section then go to the app lock and uh, you have to confirm your identity by verifying your uh, fingerprint and now enable app lock and lock apps so let's lock for example chrome contacts maybe drive duo and files i don't know and as you can see now i can't access chrome without confirming my privacy password or just scanning my my fingerprint so easily and one more thing, this feature works the way that after you once opened the app, it will be like unlocked all the time, but after you lock the screen, then unlock it, and Chrome will be locked again too. So yeah. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.